Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's ribbon cutting ceremony commemorating USASAC's new home here in New Cumberland. Please stand for the posting of the colors and arrival of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem and invocation. Now USASAC Chaplain Day will provide the invocation. Lord, we, again, we pause and we remember and we thank you for all those that have made this building possible. Lord, we pray for those that serve you, that serve our country within this building. We pray that you continue to bless them and strengthen them. We thank you for our allies. Lord, we pray that this building strives towards the purpose of peace and stability all throughout the world. Again, we thank you for this ceremony. We ask that you bless it in your most holy name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Welcome to today's ceremony on behalf of Mr. Robert Moore, Executive Director of the U.S. Army Security Assistance Command. From the first day of USASAC in 1965, USASAC has operated from Building 54, affectionately known by some as Old Blue. This is a significant event in the continued mission of USASAC as the Army's face to the world. USASAC is ready to host our partners from around the world in a world-class facility befitting of that role. On the platform today is Mr. Robert Moore, Executive Director of the United States Army Security Assistance Command, Command Sergeant Major Roger Mansker, Army Material Command, and Command Sergeant Major Gene Canada, U.S. Army Security Assistance Command. We're also honored to have the following distinguished visitors with us today. Brigadier General John Lascotti, Commanding General of the Defense Logistics Agency Distribution, a former USASAC commanding general, Brigadier General retired Clint Anderson and his wife, Cheryl Joe, Colonel Bill Kraling, USASAC acting deputy director, Colonel Philip Chambers, USASAC chief of staff, Miss Sandy Long, representing the assistant secretary of the Army for Defense Exports and Cooperation, Mr. Michael Kisharo, the senior USASAC representative in New Cumberland, Colonel Brad Ungard, the garrison commander, Mr. Rob Montefiore, the DLA installation director of, here at New Cumberland, Command Sergeant Major Dana Mason, a former Command Sergeant Major of USASAC and the Command Sergeant Major of the Military Surface Deployment and Distribution Command, Command Sergeant Major retired Bill Condart, former USASAC Command Sergeant Major, and the current USASAC Employee of the Year. 
and Mr. Bob Schopfer of RLS Construction. It's also always an honor to have our security assistance liaison officers in attendance. And today we're fortunate enough to have some of the corresponding military defense attaches attending this special event as well. With us today also are numerous USASAC retirees, retired officers, and retired Department of the Army civilians. Your contribution over the years helped ensure the success that USASAC enjoys today. Thank you very much. And we extend a special welcome to the current USASAC workforce, made up of our great Department of the Army soldiers, civilians, and contractors. Thank you for what you do every day to support the USASAC mission, and thank you for being here today. This ceremony would not be complete without you. The United States Army Security Assistance Command implements approved U.S. Army security assistance programs, including foreign military sales of defense articles and services to eligible foreign governments. Security assistance has been part of international relations for as long as man has been engaging in war. And in the history of our young nation, we received military assistance from France during the American War of Independence. Initially, the United States focused only on foreign relations for commercial benefit. But the safety of our country and allies needed a policy of greater scope. In the 20th century, our security was in peril, and we found ourselves participating in a growing international munitions trade. The Truman Doctrine of 1947 set the pattern for security assistance. To help war-ravaged nations economically and to foster democratic ideas, the United States Congress passed the Marshall Plan in 1948. This became a model for distributing foreign aid, and the United States Army has played a major role in that effort ever since. The origins of USASAC date back to 1965, when the functions of supply, maintenance, and logistics merged at the former New Cumberland Army Depot in Building 54, or Old Blue. The command evolved under several name changes and organizational designations into what we know today as the United States Army Security Assistance Command. USASAC, headquartered both at Redstone Arsenal, Alabama, and New Cumberland, with the support of the entire AMC family, leads the Army Material Command's Security Assistance Enterprise. It manages the life cycle of security assistance programs and foreign military cases to build partner capacity, support combatant command engagement strategies, and to strengthen U.S. global partnerships. Today, USASAC manages more than 5,700 foreign military sales cases valued at more than $190 billion for a wide variety of material, services, and training in support of our country's national security objectives. The command also plays a critical role in supporting United States government emergency assistance, humanitarian relief, and operations other than war programs, including United Nations peacekeeping operations. After 53 years, the United States Army Security Assistance Command remains proud to be known as USASAC, the Army's face to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome the Command Sergeant Major of the Army Material Command and a former Command Sergeant Major of USASAC, Command Sergeant Major Roger Mansker. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, it just seems like just a few years ago, I was here doing the 50th year anniversary, and I tell you, the weather was kind of similar to this. But I tell you, the difference today is you're going to go to a building that's not going to leak, the power's not going to go out, and you don't have to worry about where you park your car. It's a good thing. So I tell you, hey, Mr. Moore, you don't mind if I use your speech, do you? <laughs> I'll just cheat on him. Hey, I'm not going to talk to you long because, you know, you know, after that history, what a great history it is, but really I think you need a little motivation after that history, history report there. So first of all, it is great to be back in New Cumberland, great to be back in this area. When I was the youth sex star major, I tell you, whether you know it or not, I, I truly enjoyed, my smiles were bigger, 
my heart was heavier because what you do, I would just tell you that people in, Us in New Cumberland area of USASAC, you are what makes it happen. You are important, important to the whole process. Everything up until it gets to you is just theories and promises. You are what makes it happen. Don't forget that. You are important to all of us. You know, and I used to get, you know, I did get counseled quite a few times when I was up here. If I said something like, USAC New Cumberland, no, we're all USASAC, sorry, Major, I got it. You are in New Cumberland. You are USASAC, USAC New Cumberland, whoa. It's okay. Hey, on behalf of General Pern and I, I just want to tell you, thank you for what you do each and every day for our foreign partners and helping the security assistance and cooperation around the world. You are important. You make a difference. Whether you see it, whether you don't see it, I'm telling you, I see it. I see it at the most strategic levels. If you haven't seen it recently, you know, the Secretary of Defense put it as one of his lines of effort. That's how important you are today. You have made it in the SecDef's book, okay? Most things don't make it in there, okay? So that's great. Enjoy your building. Hey, I remember when you got cop too. You all pause, I know, automation. Enjoy your new building. It's gonna do incredible things for you and the synergy of this organization. It's only gonna make you even better than what you were. I tell you, thank you for what you do, and I'm, you know, I am gonna keep it short, because Mr. Moore is really long. <laughs> Thanks again on behalf of General Pern and I. Congratulations on your new building. Salos, thanks for coming. I, I just need to know when your potluck is. <laughs> Always incredible food. It's like going to the international market. It's great. Okay? And uh, hey, if you don't realize that, uh, all SAR majors of USASAC are here today. That's how important we know New Cumberland is. You know, I may be the first SAR, CS Command SAR major of USASAC, but really, Bill, you are the first SAR major of USASAC, and I tell you, uh, you know, what you did is a great, a great, great foundation for this whole organization, and thank you. Thanks for everybody. Thank you, Command Sergeant Major Mansker. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome USASAC's Executive Director, Mr. Robert Moore. Hey, before I do that, they, look, I found this nice, Really, it looks good, and your name is on it, so I'm going to present it to you. Council statement. Thank you. I did ask for this three years ago. <laughs> well, I like to. The, sorry, mate. I probably have to put on my glasses. You know, he's uh, got a few years on him there, but. Uh, Hey, hey, listen, uh, hey, hey, good morning, everyone. And I, you know, it, I didn't write this speech. Uh, someone wrote it for me, but it looks pretty good, so I'm going to try to <laughs> try to get through most of it, you know, because they, they put a lot of time in it, and, and um, I read through it, and there's some uh, some really neat things they're saying. So, uh, well, you know, some of it, some of it I told them to put in, but anyway. Hey, listen, first of all, you know, we really, uh, really appreciate uh, all of you coming out today to, to help us celebrate. Uh, I mean, this is really, really a special occasion. And uh, before I get too far, I, I need to tell you that, that Mayor General Foreman, uh, I mean, in fact, we were, as I was sitting in the Delta Lounge last night, he was sending me emails and texts and, uh, and just uh, wanted me to ensure that I pass on to you his uh, uh, best wishes and, but more importantly, his regrets for not being here to be part of this. Because I think you all know that, that uh, he had a lot of heart and soul in terms of helping us to get uh, Building A to 1 to where is it today. So, uh, so I wanted to make sure I did that up front to, to acknowledge that he, he's in us in spirit there in his heart and he wishes he could be here with us. Uh, certainly, I, I want I, General Lascola. Thank you very, very much for just for all the great support. I mean, uh, we we recognize that without y your support and DLA, uh, I don't think we would have been able to, to get through to to this day. And uh, uh, Brigadier General Anderson and your lovely bride, uh, you know, you and I run into each other many times over the years, and uh, it's really, really special for us that you took the time to come and to. Because I know you can recognize when you go through that new building today and you're going to go. In fact, you told me when you went to the old building, you said, wow. And then I think you're going to go a bigger wall today when you see the new building. And uh, 
you know, how, how did your father saw your major? You know, I mean, he, he said uh, all the great things about the command sergeant majors and, and certainly about uh, when I first came to USASAC, I mean, Bill Condart was the sergeant major. Uh, in fact, I knew him before I got to USASAC, uh, and clearly I appreciate those comments that you made, sergeant major, about, about Bill Condart, sergeant major Condart, and then, and then uh, command sergeant major uh, Mason as well. And uh, just, uh, just can't say enough about, you know, looking straight down in front of me and, and those beautiful uh, soldiers there and, and thank you very, very much in the colors, uh, DLA colors, so sir, and in, in, in colors, thank you very much for being here today. Uh, that's what it's all about and very much appreciate that. And, uh, and then, of course, Chaplain A, I always appreciate, you know, you, your, your spirit to guys and bless. In fact, when you were talking and I heard all that rumbling in the mic and everything, I mean, I thought the Lord was really coming down <laughs> speaking to you because you were, you were into it, but, uh, but thank you very much. And uh, and then also, you know, I mean, to all the USAC uh, retirees and the, uh, and the uh, where are you? If we got any retirees here today? You know, I'm to show up. You know, if if you do, stand up. I wanna I wanna see you uh, if that you're here. And let's look around. Okay, I see some there. Thank you, thank you for coming out. And all I say, Lord, please stand up. All I say, Lord, your your lovely brides as well. Stand up and let us give you an applause. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, today we are, we are cutting the ribbon to make uh, the relocation of this renovated facility official. Uh, I mean, this is truly is a milestone in, in USASAC history. Right up here, John. I'll stand. <laughs> All right, okay. And, uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through this and like speed it up. Okay, and uh, you know, three years ago, we were standing out here, we did the 50th anniversary celebration. It was wonderful. Um, today, we're back. Uh, once again on the same parade field to, to recognize and open this new building. And, uh, well, I, I can't tell you how much uh, it means to the USASAC team and to be able to come back. And uh, as the Sergeant Mayor said, it, it really is all about you and what you do each and every day. Uh, you deserve this. It is, uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, and I think it's appropriate that uh, we, we, uh, we put you into what I think is a, a certainly a first world-class facility. I must tell you, though, I just had a little peek today, and I'm, I'm really jealous, and I think I may, uh, you may see more of me up here uh, than you really want to. Uh, oh, all right, okay. All right. But, uh, and uh, so, and I'm going to, I'm going to forgo a lot of the things that they put uh, in this speech that I told them to put in here because I, it's, it began to rain. But I, I, you know, what I can tell you is that uh, to uh, New Cumberland uh, uh, building uh, is, is important because of, of you and because of what you do. And I couldn't have said it any better than what the Sonia Major said. I mean, it, it, when you come up here, you know, you feel like, man, this is, this is where it all happens. And you're the one that make it happen. And I think it's appropriate that we give you and provide you with, with a facility that's fitting to what you've been doing all these years. And, and you've done it with, without complaint. And, uh, and so and I'm just so, so thrilled to, to be here and be part of this to, uh, to dedicate uh, officially this facility to you. So listen, I am going to stop going through all these comments and just to tell you, uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for what you do uh, for the USASAC team, for AMC, for our Army. Uh, thank you for making us the gold standard uh, in the Army. Uh, and uh, I want to, we, we, it's going to be exciting. We're going to get inside. We're going to see a new facility. So to all of you, thank you very, very much. God bless all of you. Uh, God bless your countries. Uh, God bless our great nation. Army strong. Sir, thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of this portion of the ceremony, there will be a brief intermission as we move across the street for the official ribbon cutting commemorating our new home here at New Cumberland. Immediately following the ribbon cutting, there will be a VIP tour of the new USASAC facilities in buildings 81 and 403 
followed by an open house for friends and family and a potluck dinner for everyone in building 403. For your safety, please use the sidewalks and crosswalks to move to building 81 for the ribbon cutting. If you require assistance, we have golf carts available to transport you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please stand for the retirement of the colors and remain standing for the singing of the Army song. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find the words to the Army song on the back of your program. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you again for your presence here today to mark this milestone event in USASAC's history. It's an honor to have you here to celebrate our new home. At this time, please allow the official party to exit the parade field and then move across the street to Building 81 for the official ribbon cutting ceremony. This concludes this portion of today's ceremony. Thank you. All right. You ready? Just let us know when. Say all right. Now we're going to go oh, yeah. on three, one. Two, three, do it. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. 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 All and what I neglected to say earlier is that, uh, you know, we're all so far Salo. We, we have a new building as well. You were in that, well, I don't know double, what I can call it. Double you know, wide. Double wide trailer, I think it was. <laughs> and now we have a wonderful uh, uh, fitting uh, building for you as well. So, I mean, this is really is a, a great time for our Team Usage Act. And I say Team Usage Act because it is Team Usage Act and you're all a part of it. So, so what, a, what a great... Great, great day, and uh, the rain stopped just in time so that we could do this ribbon cutting ceremony. And uh, but please enjoy this wonderful bill, and, uh, and 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 I just can't tell you how much, uh, as uh, Command Sergeant Major Master said, you know, uh, and I know General Perner recognized how much you do each and every day uh, to make you know uh, AMC what it is today. So thank you very, very much for that. Okay, thank. You. All right, about it. I think we're gonna go inside. Come on in. Come on. Come on home. Welcome home.